Hey there guys, what's going on? My name is Mark and welcome back to our FIFA 20 Late in Orient Road to Glory career mode. I hope you are keeping yourself safe uh, and we are finally back. It's been like two weeks. I couldn't get one out last week. Uh, if you didn't see, I left a note on the last video basically saying I often record with an empty house. Obviously, I don't think people in the house would appreciate me screaming the house is down because I lost to Coventry again. And since everything's pretty much closed, nobody's going out <laughs> so i've got people in the house all the time so i kind of need to wait until people leave and then i can scream uh, and luckily i've got time now i have no idea when but fuck it let's do it <laughs> so if you forgot what happened last episode i can't really blame you uh we took on coventry we drew uh and then we took on millwall one nice then we beat milk well, i'm gonna say we beat millwall but it was a sim we beat coventry 3-1 in the replay uh, and then we drew nil nil against fulham which isn't a bad result uh and now this is happening fifa 19 road to glory versus fifa 20 road to glory it's just go oh oh feel that storytelling that i didn't do so today uh, we're definitely going to play Peterborough. Uh, whoops. <laughs> and then it's just like, what do I do there? Uh, this might just have to be a two-game episode. Or if not, I can try and sneak in three. I definitely want to take on Cardiff over here. Because I do believe, last time I, ch well, last time I remember, I think they were second? Yeah, they are second. And not only that, they haven't lost a game. But they're second <laughs> with... You know, and it looks like those two, uh, Fulliff and Cardam. Fulliff? Did I just say Fulliff? Was I about to say Cardam? Oh my god. This isolation's getting to me, man. Fulham and Cardiff seem to be running away with this. It looks like those two are pretty much uh, on point for automatic promotion. And it's just us about, let's just, you know, let's just secure playoffs at this point. You know, let, I might play Middlesbrough, why not? Uh, so let's do it. We need to get through this. If it feels rushed, I'm sorry. The the truth is, it, it really is. Because I don't know. I don't know when I'm going to get people in the house again. So let's do it. Peterborough, we're away at the Airbox. I'm expecting a standing ovation for what I did for them. Oh, we're back. Let's see who they've got. Let's see if there's anybody. You know, let's see if there's any originals from last year. Let's see if Louis Re Lewis. Fuck's sake, I did it again. Let's see if he's still in there. Obviously, Jason Cummins used to play for Posh uh, on loan for like three months before they sent him back. <laughs> and I don't think I've got any other Posh players in this, apart from Lee Angle, uh, but I think he's on the bench. All right, so they're going with a 4 one 2 one 2 diamond, uh, but it's a narrow diamond. They're playing like all midfielders, like all centre midfielders, so they're going, uh, they're going strong through the middle. So in goal, they've got Aaron Chapman. Um, I think he's a new signing this year. In real life, because I, I don't think I had him last season. Um, <coughs> I don't think I had him in the last game. If I did, I sold him straight away. Uh, that's us. Uh, oh, for fuck's sake. Me and this man have a very... Hmm, what could I say? Hate-hate relationship. I hate him. <laughs> I hate, he's not very good on this game. Oh, he, he, he wasn't very good on FIFA 19, let's be honest. He cost me a lot. And then I ditched him. I got rid of him straight away. A midfield, uh, not midfield, centre back, Mark Beavers and Frankie Kent. Uh, left is Fraser Blake. Tracy, uh, there he is. My boy. Alex Woodyard's still there. Mark O'Hara, he's still there. George Cooper. Uh, and up top, Mo Issa and Ivan Tony. What a man. Him and Jason Cummins from FIFA 19 Season 1. Wow. What a duo. And there's how we line up then. If you can't remember the team, because it's been a while, there it is. Uh, Pontus Dahlberg, Robbie Q, Nathan Wood, Nathan Ferguson at the back. Uh, Brandon Williams at left. George Marsh and Enzo Millet as CDMs. Castaneda on the right. Emile smith Rowe on the left. Curtis Jones through the middle. And the big man, Jason Cummins, up top by himself. Trying to get a goal against his former team. Not really a former team. He was there for like two months before. Who the fuck was manager at the time that sent him back? I don't think it was Fergie at the time. Was it Evans? Peterborough versus Leighton Orient. It's a big, it's it's the Mark Ferg derby. There we go. That's what it's called. Moisa, somebody that I didn't have last year, gets us underway. Let's do it, boys. Only one of these people in the uh, posh starting 11 were there at the end of the save. And it's my boy, Louis Reed. He's a mad. He's a man. Millet goes for it. Blocked by Ken. 
And I've, yes, I know I've just called him Louis Reed again, despite the fact that I've been told numerous times it's Lewis, but I called him Louis for like six months and get over it. When Casting Yedder just skipped round his man. Lovely ball stood up towards the back post, but Louis Reed, I told you, man, he's a machine. For those of you who don't know about Louis Reed, get to know the man wins headers. He's like five foot three, but he is a heading machine. Jones to Smith Rowe. Cuts inside. Onto his right. He's hit that. Oh, and he can hit them. Emile Smith Rowe gives me the lead against my former team. <laughs> this is all about me. Okay. I tried to do the, the, the no. That's a fucking hit, to be fair. That's a stunner. Right into the top corner. Right in the upper 90. Chapman has got no chance. Here's Millet now. Bit of space opening up. Marsh to Jones. It's lovely interplay. Curtis Jones. To good tackle by Beavers there. Can I just have a look at Louis Reed, please? Lewis Reed, whatever the fuck you want to call him. I feel like they've butchered him. I mean, <laughs> they've butchered him. He's literally got vagina eyes. Oh, look at how you massacred my boy. Oh, shit the bed. Mark O'Hara's broke. What the fuck just happened there? Mark O'Hara will fasten him wide, though. I think it's Woody. Oh, Woody. Oh, he's a fucking machine. It's Nathan Wood. Oh, it's a bad pass from Woodyard. Castaneda pounces on it. Burst forward, Jones rolls it out wide to Castaneda again. Castaneda, he's absolutely mugged Kent off. Castaneda, can he put a ball in? It's lovely towards the back post. Cummins, oh my god, Naismith just did a bicycle kick clearance. Blake Tracy, again, just losing the ball. Millet up to Cummins. Cummins there, it's a bit wide. Castaneda hits it into the top corner. It's 2 0. Castaneda knows what this means for me. He's not celebrating. He's not celebrating. He knows that this is a this is an emotional day for me. It's a good ball from Miller up to Cummins, and Cummins then just pulls it back for Castaneda, and he's absolutely wellied it into the top corner. And you know, Chapman, I know he's a big lad, but they're two. The two goals that we've scored have been well placed and hit hard. Ivan Tony tries to put a ball in, Woody blocks it, and Fox to O'Hara, Woodges up to Moisa. He's put it in, but I do believe he was offside. And he's dead. He's dead. He is offside, Moisa. Would you there? He's been caught. Messing about with it. Jones to Cummins. Spins. Jason Cummins. Oh, he's put that wide. Jones gives it a Castaneda. Back to Jones. Still Curtis Jones. Puts it towards the back post for Cummins. It's a good save by Chapman to get down. O'Hara is absolutely put what a ball up towards Ivan Tony. Ivan Tony here, we've got to get across. Oh my god. <laughs> what a tackle. My son doing me proud. And that will be that in the Mark Ferg Derby. It's the new boys getting it done against last year's Road to Glory team. It's nice to come back. It's not nice winning. It's not nice seeing the boys, you know. All upset. It's really. I don't know where they're going. There's no tunnel there. There's no tunnel there, boys. But at the end of the Mark Ferg derby, it ends 2 0 to Leighton Orient. And uh, Leighton Orient are through to the next round of the FA Cup. Peterborough will meet again. Don't know where. Don't know when. Right, we're not going to play the Sheffield Wednesday game. Uh, we are going to sim it. Because I don't know where Sheffield Wednesday are right now. But, like, they're not. They're nowhere near us. I count seventh. It's like our range of the games that we need to play. But this one isn't one of them. So we'll just sim this one straight away. And it is a 1-1 draw. 12th draw of the season. Woo! And I just saw, I did see Jason Cummins picked up a little knock. Right. I'm going to blame that on whoever took charge of that game. Uh, because even I saw he got injured, but you didn't take him off until like 15 minutes later. And he's torn a quad. Oh, I forgot about Brennan. <laughs> Breno Fernandez, fuck off. This Carlos Carlos Linz guy, I have no idea who this is. Obviously, you know, I, I don't pay attention to the names when I sign them. He wasn't in the recent one because nobody got bought from that one. Bought, signed, whatever you want to say. But he looks class. <laughs> 88 acceleration, so he's quite quick. 82 sprint speed. Excellent vision. 94 vision, so you can pick a pass. Bro fucking excellent cross. And oh my god, he's got 94 free kick accuracy. <gasps> this guy looks amazing. Let's sign him up. <laughs> You're coming up, fella. I need a strike, you know. 
Liangol. Or, right. <laughs> Hear me out. Do I go get Breno Fernandez from the Youth Academy? Yeah, I do. Yes, I do. Breno, it's your lucky day. <laughs> I'm going to play this next game uh, away at the Riverside. And we're going to give Breno Fernandez his full-on debut. Because why the fuck not? Linz, he can wait. He can he can wait a few days. He can wait. I, might bring, I will bring him off the bench. We'll give him like, I don't know, 30 minutes, 25 minutes. So let's do it. Away at Middlesbrough. I don't know where they are. They are eighth, so they're, they're, they're right in the middle. You can see there, they're five points away from seventh, and they're five points away from ninth. So they've just got a little a little buffer where, you know, they're not really go they, they're not going up or down soon. So we'll get into this one then. Oh, we're at the Riverside. Let's do it, boys. <laughs> I've lost my mind. Quarantine is fucking getting to me. All right, so we're going with a 4-3-3. Uh, one CDM, two centre mids. Uh, in goal, they've got Darren Randolph. Isn't there in real life? He's gone back to West Ham. Uh, Anthony Dicksteel at right back. I know it's Dicksteel, but Anthony Dicksteel. Also, they've spelled Anthony the same way that a northern person would actually say Anthony. It's Anthony. It's what it is. Uh, mid, uh, mid. I keep, I've done that twice now. Centre backs: Danny Ayala and Dale Fry. To uh, they're they're still the that's from real life as well. Left back: Mark Baller. He's coming along well. Uh, Paddy McNair, CDM. Mo mm, we'll just call him Sam. <laughs> Sam and Mark Anthony Kai. At uh, the centre mids, uh, right is Marcus Brown, uh, left is Marcus Tavernier. A lot of Marcuses, two Marcuses, well. And up top is do 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 Brita Sombalonga. That's how we start. The big change is up top. Breno Fernandez making his full Leighton Orient debut about two days after being called up to the main squad. Jason Cummins has gone down injured. Take your chance. Take your chance. So Middlesbrough. And more precisely, Britta Sombalonga is going to get this game underway at the Riverside. We are off. Let's do it, boys. Up the oars. Mark Anthony Kai out wide to Brown. Oh, he does get that there. I thought uh, Williams could have maybe got there. Brown, though, plays it into Sammy. Uh, Sam plays it back to Brown. Brown across the box to Tavernier. And they've just absolutely ripped my pants off and have just bummed me. They passed that round me like I wasn't even there. I expected a shot from Brown there, and he just played it across to Tavernier, off the post. Dolberg, I don't know what he was doing, to be honest, but, you know, <laughs> fucking hell. To Marsh, Marsh, up to Breno Fernandez. Breno Fernandez, he's going for it. Debut! Oh, oh Breno Fernandez just pulling out a heel to heel. The kid's got confidence. The kid's got confidence! Jesus Christ, he's still going. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Smith Rowe, up to Breno Fernandez. Bit of space opening up for you there. Breno Fernandez. Oh, he's got it! Breno Fernandez! <laughs> Half an hour into not only his late and Orient debut, his senior professional footballer debut. He scored. Remember the name Breno Fernandez. He's no longer a bootleg Bruno Fernandez. He's better than Bruno Fernandez because has Bruno Fernandez got a goal in the EFL Championship? Exactly. Just for that, Breno. End of this match. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna untuck your shirt. You're welcome, Jones. Breno, no. Breno. Ref. What? 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 Hang on. Wait. Pause. That was blatant. How have you not given that? No, he didn't touch the ball because I'm sure Breno Fernandez has put that through his legs. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs> Look at the anger on Dale Fry's face. He knows that he's not getting this. He knows he's fucked up. And he also looks quite clapped. He knows he's fucked up. He's shit. Oh, fuck, I'm not getting to that. Doesn't touch it. Mate. I'm gobsmacked. I've genuinely just had my mouth wide open. Like, I'm shocked. I'm genuinely shocked. Jones. 
Give it back to Breno. Referee's just been... What? Again? Pause! <laughs> He's just been booted square in the mush. He doesn't touch the ball. And he's just been booted. Look at the... I mean, yes, Breno does head it out. But come on. This is a joke. This... What the fuck is this? Oh, yeah, he's offside. Get, call that one, but not call... But don't call two counts of GBH. Jones. Smith Rowe. He can hit them from there. Oh, what a finish. Emile Smith Rowe. He's turning into a connoisseur on the edge of the box curling. He's... Oh! And he's coming off. He's just coming off. It's time for another debut. Carlos Linz, he's coming up. That's a lovely finish. Right in the corner. On he comes. Carlos Linz for his debut. The crowd are going wild. Limbs. Referee. I'm oh my god, he's finally given a foul. I mean, we have played on, but fuck me. Breno Fernandez. Out wide to Carlos. Carlos Linz. Carlos Linz. He's still going. He's still going. Hit it, son. <laughs> what? <laughs> what have I just witnessed? No, 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 no. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I must come back. What? What? <laughs> Genuinely, no word of a lie. I'm not gonna cut anything out since I brought him on. That was like two minutes. Three one. Two goals from youth players making their debut. Wow. And for that, both of them are going to get their shirts untucked. You're welcome. Carlos Linz, he's came on and he scored with like his first touch. His first shot, as a, his one and only shot as a professional football player has gone in. What a man. I can't edit player because I'm logged out of the uh, EA thing because the game's updated uh, when I came on this morning. Uh, so I haven't updated it. So I haven't got any of the EAS... FC, whatever the fuck they're called. I haven't got any of the unlocks, so I can't do that. I'll do it next time. Bristol City. I don't know where they are. I'm not bothered. I'm going to sim it. Um, let's see if they can get the job done. Away from home. 2-1. Angle comes off the bench to get a goal. And Castaneda open the scoring. Uh, so that's a good win for us. Next is Derby. We're not going to play that one either. We're going to sim this one as well. So let's... Sim it straight away. No change to the starting lineup. Let's see how the boys do in this one. 3-0. Smith Rowe, Castaneda, and Williams with the goal. Robbie Q there got injured right at the end of the game. So hopefully that's not serious. Robbie Q out for fuck's sake. All right, so last game of the episode. Uh, I've done quite well to get three in, so it's going to be a normal a normal episode, really. Away against Cardiff, second in the league. I still don't know if they've lost. We'll check that out now. They still haven't lost. Let's see if we can hand them an L. They they don't concede, but then again, neither do we. Let's get this done, then. Cardiff away. Let's do it. Here we go, then, at the Cardiff City Stadium. We're in Wales. We're in Cardiff. It's wet it's miserable, it's grey, so clearly we are in Wales. So they're going with a 4-2-3-1, uh, same as our formation. So they've got Neil Etheridge in between the sticks, Sean, fucking hell, Kleber at right back, Sean Morrison and B Tech David Luis at the centre back, Joe Bennett left back, Will Vox and Ibrahima Sissoko CDMs, Gavin White on the right, Josh Murphy at left, I always get confused with him and Jacob, I, can't, I don't think you can blame me, they literally are identical twins, Hani Mukhtar as a cam and then Tao oh, Chami Chami, Chami 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 Abraham up top, and here is how we start two Big changes to the match day squad. Callum Britton has to come in uh, because Robbie Q picked up an injury. That's going to keep him out for, I, I think, a month. Uh, and then uh, he's back. Carlos Linz, after his one and only... Per he's got one appearance, one shot, one goal. 
let's see him make his full uh, full professional debut. So let's do it. <laughs> Cardiff getting us kicked off. This is the third game we've had, and it's the third away game we've had. <laughs> I just realised we haven't been to Brisbane Road in this episode at all. So Tommy Abraham to get us kicked off, and we are underway. Come on, boys, up the oars. Breno Fernandez now trying to pick a ball out into Millet. Uh, he's been tucked down Castaneda into Marsh. Marsh there goes around a few man. Oh, it's a good run by George Marsh. That Jones tries to give it back to Breno Fernandez. He does. Breno, back to Carlos. Oh, he's at the post. Still Gavin White on the right. It's a good area. Oh, Callum, the good. Get rid, get rid, get rid, get rid. Get. Don't dive in, don't dive in. Get rid, get rid, get rid. There you go. Pa never panicked. Calm. Always calm. Swear down. <laughs> Not been many chances in this game. You can tell that. Hang on. Mukhtar, Abraham. Good tackle. See, that's what's been happening. Like, they've been, both of us have been like, Coming forward and then instantly just denied by a good, a well-placed tackle. Like, you can tell that these two teams are the best defenders in the league. That's that's for sure. It it screams of Tony Pulis. It's not even as if, you know, even if we had Jason Cummins fit. Hang on. No. Oh, what a block, Woody. Even if we had uh, Cummins fit, I don't think we'd be in any other position, to be honest. Millet. Let's see if we can get one late, though. Oh, I've seen Carlos find him. Oh, my fucking God, Esteban. That's going to be that. Nil-nil. It's another draw, <laughs> which I think is now our 13th in the league. You, like, I keep saying, and it's the only way I can describe this, two best defences in the league, and it's screamed of both of these teams being managed by Tony Pulis. That, that had nil-nil written on it from the start. We'll take it. A point away from home against a team that hasn't lost. Let's not forget that. They still haven't lost. We couldn't hand them an L, but I'll take a point. <coughs> Very different. Normally, you know, last few episodes when I've got a nil-nil, I feel like two points dropped. That, 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 yeah, that's a fair result. Right, where are we coming back next episode when I can get one out? We're not far from the end of the season. I'm not too sure. I reckon we just come back next month. I reckon we fly through next month. We do West Ham. I'll sim that. I'll sim that. I'll do Sunderland and I'll do Barnsley. Yeah, that sounds good. So that's what I'm going to finish it for today. A car's literally just pulled up outside, so I couldn't have timed this any better. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you want to follow me on Twitter, anything at all, link is in the description. And uh, yeah, that's that from me. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, wash your hands, like I said. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Oh,